everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today started out a good day with Mr. Brown. I put him on the roost, and I go, roost, <laughs> just like that. And he goes, <laughs> he poops. He does a good job, and it goes right into the bucket thing that I want it to go in. So then later on, I tried him again. He goes about every 20 minutes. So I tried him again, and he did it, and so I said, good boy went outside so he got to stay outside for a while and then he did it two more times in the bucket but he did it five or six times on the floor he did it actually five times on the floor and one time now just on that dresser thing that he likes mm. to stand on and steal the flower he did get the roll of toilet paper and he was it was strewed around the floor you know how cats and kittens and kids will mess with the toilet paper well he did the same thing Years ago, when the toilet paper, I was going to mention this many times, every time I use the darn toilet paper, I think about it. When the kids were little, we turned the roll one way, and when we had cats in the house, it was a certain way. Now that it's nobody in the house, just us, I turn it the other way, where the picture would show. So, I'd have to show you, but I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> where you pull under instead, of, so when the cat or whatever would hit it like this, be patting at it. It wouldn't be rolling off. It just keeps spinning around instead and stays on the roll. So that's what I was thinking of. I also was thinking today, what motivates you to get out of bed? You know, there's a lot of times that if you don't have something that you have to do or should do or someone's waiting for you to do, you don't get up. There was a computer sound in here. That was my phone. Oh, okay, because I was going to say, gee whiz, the computers are way over on the other side of the house. They're not over here. But um, if you don't have something that motivates you to get out of bed, you could just sleep forever. My motivation is I think of poor Jake. He has been in there all night long, and he never, he doesn't. A lot of dogs will wake their owners up and say they've got to go in the middle of the night. He has never done that. None of my dogs have done that. They've all been very good about sleeping all through the night and they wait till I get up in fact they don't even make any noise Annie when she was uh, younger she would go uh, and then she'd be quiet for a little while and then she'd go uh, and so she was kind of letting me know that you better wake up I've really got to go potty but that was like 6 or 6 30 or 7 o'clock in the morning so she was really she had waited all night long and now I get up because I know Jake wants to go potty. I get up because I know the chickens want to get out of the enclosed run. And I know Mr. Brown would love to be free of his cage. And he gets to be free in the room. I let him out and let him just, he has, actually the blue room is his room, pretty much. I've had to empty it out a lot because I don't want him to poop on something that I don't want him to poop on. Because birds can fly, and he can fly. I'm not going to clip his wings, so he will always be able to do whatever. I've also had questions about when is he going to join the other chickens outside. He is never going to join them. I would have to not have Pretty Boy. Because I have a rooster out there, he would be beat up by that rooster. There would be a fight, and it would be a fight to the death. And poor little... Mr. Brown probably would lose because he's too des domesticated. He's he's too much of a person now. He's not really, he's a chicken, but he's not a real chicken. He he gets scared when motors go by. It's, it's funny because a big truck went by today and he goes running. It's like, where are you going? He went to run to hide until the sound was gone and then I clapped my hands and he came back. But it's, it's funny because he is, he's afraid of sounds afraid of things. He's he's not he's not worldly like the hens and the rooster outside. So he will have to stay in the house. But I was the thing that I want to know is what motivates you. Can you just say what motivates you to get up? I know the people that have a cow to milk have to get up because of the cow or the goats or the animals to feed you have to get up. But what if you don't have animals? What if nobody is depending on you? And what if you're retired? Do you still have something that pulls you out of bed every day that says, you better get up. It's getting late. 
And that's my video for today. <laughs> I'm done. So I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.